is Oscar Gonzalez, CEO of OMAC Talent Management, and I'm very happy to be sharing this special interview with two of our models, Brianna Paniagua and Joshua Serrano. Joshua and Brianna, they went to Puerto Rico with the company Destination Model Shoots with Karen Lebron, and they had a blast a photo shoot and a bunch of experiences. So I can't wait to be sharing these experiences with everybody. Um, Joshua, tell us about your trip of Puerto Rico, why you just did with Destination Model Shoots, tell us about the photographers, tell us everything. So for my trip, um, I travel a little bit early than all the other models. I have family over there, so I went a little bit early to visit my family. And then May 5th, we got to San Juan. Our trip was from May 5th to May 8th. It wasn't like a lot of days, but I felt that it was for weeks. For weeks? My trip, our trip was in San Juan. The first day we went to Loquillo, to a place that is called La Parrilla. It's like a river. There is like a giant rock where you can slide on that rock. It's pretty famous. You will be able to find an Easter on YouTube. Um, TikTok, you will see a lot of TikToks over there for tourist people. It's called La, Parri La Parrilla in uh, Luquillo. It's a private location. Um, that same day, we also went to the Old San Juan, where I was able to look into all the little markets. We were able to photo shoot over there. We also went to a restaurant the same day that is called The Lobster in Luquillo. We were able to shoot in the, in the beach because it's right next to the beach. And they have awesome food, like for example, that old food that I ordered that day, it was plantains. It's like a cob mm. from plantains, stuffed with Delicious. Crabs. And I also ordered mofongo with some seafood. And then the second day we were in, also to all someone, but we went to, and then we went to a place that is called La Pasita. There's a lot of clubs, there's a lot of restaurants, where a lot of people like go together, they dance, and mostly that day, just like Bad Bunny album came, so that was, Full. It was super full that day. Um, during the day, we went to a beach over there in Loisa. And then after we were done in, uh, with the beach, we went to a place to learn bomba. We were... That's amazing. We learned the five different bombas from Puerto Rico and the culture behind it. So, Brianna, tell us about your experiences in Puerto Rico. What you just did with Destination Model Shoot? Same thing, but you know, I came a little afterwards. I feel like I was maybe the one of the last people to head in over to San Juan. Um, I got to experience going to the rivers and the waterfalls and experiencing the rocks and the beautiful trees and the fruits on the trees. And then after that day too, we went to the beach and the Taloquillo beach, it was a private beach. It was very beautiful. I had like sand in all my shoes and everything, but you know, it was worth it because like we took amazing photos there. And then after that, we went to go to eat at La Casa La Blanquita. And you know, I had, uh, I forgot what I had, that I had, oh, dos tones I had. Mm. And I had, um, I think it was uh, Juleta Frita. Mm. And um, what else did I have? I had a few so you guys Yaka had Frita, some really yeah. good food. With it. Yeah, we had a lot of good really food. I just had a long food. list because I was munching over there. I was eating a lot. Wow. So I just want to let everybody know in Instagram that this travel was made possible for the with the company Destination Model Shoots by Karen Lebron. Um, she has a group of professionals, photographers, videographers, people putting a team together to take models to beautiful destinations. This destination was Puerto Rico. They just came back. They very burned. They went to the beach. They did so many good excursions. They had so much fun with different photo shoots, videos. You guys create a lot of content, right? And yeah. um, what is the purpose of creating content as a model? What is the benefit to creating content as a model? As a model, it gave you exposure. Um, besides exposure, you gave exposure to even to the place that you were. So you're making this place to get recognized, but you're rec trying to make yourself recognized for other people and trying to find the photographer that also wants to work with you. 
That's awesome. Networking. Yes. Right? Uh, Brianna, what is the best thing that you get from this experience? I feel like the best thing I got from this experience was learning more about my culture, learning more about self, and like learning more about the locations and the history behind Puerto Rico and, San, and Old San Juan. So the good thing about this experience is that it's not only about the photo shoot of the videos of the content. They also learn about the history of Puerto Rico. They learn about the food, the culture, the traditions, the festivals, the bomba, the plena. So I heard that you guys took a class for bomba. Tell yeah, I took about, the class. I uh, had one of the dress. He was just standing there watching yeah, us. Was I he was just watching. I did the class. Did, yes. yes. Okay, I did the class. so I would like to know about that class. How it went, yeah. It was really fun. It was ran by Maribela Burgos. Mm -hmm. She was teaching us uh, La Bomba de Plena, and she was telling us the history behind the five different um, types of bomba and okay. the story behind of what the bomba is. Mm -hmm. And the bomba is basically the dancer communicating with the drummer. So it's kind of like every move you make is like communicating with the drummer and creating music in that way. That's amazing. So with destination model shoots, you don't only do amazing photos, content and videos, you also learn about the destination that you're going that happens to be Puerto Rico, and you guys are Puerto Rican, so it was amazing for you guys just being there, right? And, and taking home was, a little, little piece of our culture, I feel like that was the best part. Right, like taking something from your culture back home mm -hmm. that made this experience very spectacular. I will say that. Very spectacular. Very warming too. Because Very it warming. Felt, because it felt like arriving there, it's just like you felt like you were just at home, you know? Like we were ourselves, you know, and fully in, indulged in our surroundings. How you feel working with Phil? How you feel working with Daph? How you feel working with Bay? How was that team? How was that the dynamic? Okay, so I loved Phil. Phil got into the water. When I mean into the water, like, I remember we were at the rocks, and, um, what's it called? He was gonna do this one shoot. Okay. And he kind of fell into the water, and the, where the waterfall was, but it was okay. He was alright. Okay. <laughs> he went head first, but it was okay. He was alright. And then, like, it's kind of like he's really into his environment when he's taking his photos. So you get the best shots, and I love that. And I also liked working with Bay too, because, like, you know, he's more about, like, seeing the entire, and, like, you know, scenery, but also including you in the center. Right. You know what I mean? You're like a centerpiece and, in right. his photo. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like an art piece, like you're centered around the art piece. And Dad, since I've, I've already worked with Dad previously, I just feel like it was just a vibe, like I was chilling with a friend, like, you know, like, just like, hey, friend, we're about to make a video, all right, let's right. go. And this thing. is very important, I mean, this is very important. You need to be able to do whatever the photographer yeah. say, the communication between photographer and model has to be there. You need to follow instructions, what the photographer vision is, what they intended to do with you, and then you go from there, right? And the good thing about the pole photographer is like, they only don't tell you what to do. Like, they wouldn't be like, hey, can you post like this? Can you post like that? They also want you to do you. They will like ask you for like five different poses and then the other 20 poses are like, do whatever you want, I wanna see what you can do. Wow. So they give you the creativity yeah. and the space to right. be yourself. That's yeah. awesome. Wow, that's phenomenal. Uh, something else that you wanna tell to the people watching us through Instagram about this trip, what you learned and what, to, what, what you wanna share with the public. So what I can say is like, when you go to Puerto Rico, a lot of people just only think about tourist, like tourist like area like San Juan, Luquillo, like the national forest. In my opinion, you should go all around the island. You should go to the other sides of the island, so you can have both view and perspective. It's not the same thing. San Juan might look like the city, 
the other part of Puerto Rico might not. It looks a lot poor, but it's more beautiful. I can tell you that it's super beautiful. You will find all the more places warming. that it is. It's a lot warmer. Right. Also, like if you go over there, don't only focus in the Morro. Also, go to the Old San Juan. You should go to Rincon. Um, I would say like between six to seven, the sunset of Rico is the most beautiful sunset that you will be able to see in all Puerto Rico. There is no only someone as a lot of people think the best was in Rico is in the other side of the island. Wow. Um, Brianna, what you learned from this experience, what you want people at home to know about destination model shoots and how you grew from this experience? See how I grew from this experience and traveling there, I believe I learned more about myself and more about my culture and the stories behind, you know, some stories of the history of Old San Juan and I learned more about my background and I did a lot of self-healing and um, when I came home, I came back home with a very clear mind and a loving heart. Loving heart, clear mind, Puerto Rico, and a lot of uh, beautiful experiences. Thanks to the people from Destination Model Chutes, Hill Jackson, Bay, and Duff. I am very happy to be sharing this interview with everybody in Instagram. And once again, if you want to become a model, go to www.omacmodels.com. Okay, and um, see you later. Bye. Bye.